Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we are right here at Mercedes stand with a brand new Mercedes E-Class. This is the plug-in hybrid, the 400E version and I try to give you some information about the car. Today there are not so many people here so I can show you the car. Yesterday was super crowded and I wasn't able to make a proper proper uh, video with it but today I try to show you every single detail because this car it's incredible. I mean it not only that looks phenomenal but also the technology, the comfort inside the car it, it's amazing as all the Mercedes these days. And let me talk a little bit about the exterior. Also this gray color it, it quite quite well on the car the the light the high bin the low bin look also phenomenal and it comes with full matrix led light the grille i like the fact that they still keep that chrome around the grille and also we have some chrome around the handles of the car and i will show you also in the back but they now add some led light around the grille of the car and i think it looks it make it look much more special and interesting at least in the nighttime when you drive on the street other than that still those signature kind of stars in the front on the grille some chrome we have the big mercedes logo behind the logo is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features front camera because the car come with 360 degrees camera very clean design on the down part of the bumper here some glossy plastic on the down area some air intakes there and also here on the side we have some air intakes to improve the aerodynamic and other than that six parking sensors but the the design and the front look of the car it's really really special and if i go a little bit backward you can also see it now i want to give you also some few information and price about the car this is the 400e version the plug-in hybrid version and you can see it comes with a two liter petrol engine four cylinders in line 252 horsepower uh, also you are able to drive only in electric mode up to 108 kilometers something that is incredible now even the plug-in hybrid cars start be able to drive a lot so i think 108 it's more than enough for daily uh, driving so you can drive only in electric mode for most of the time 0 to 100, 5.3 seconds. The starting price of the car, 86,500 euro, and it can go up to 118,000 with all the options. So those are the kind of the most important information as we go so a little bit farther, faster, uh, because I don't wanna wait too much, uh, more people will come. But in general, I like the lines, I like the design, I like the way it looks, also the back of the car, the sedan look, and also the new light look really special and I noticed that Mercedes always with every single model even the facelift they try to change the tail lights they try to change a little bit the design but in general it, it really looked like a limousine like a premium car so if you drive with this car on the street people will notice that this is a really really special car and I really like the way they design this and they they kind of add the signature of the star from Mercedes logo. And I like that on the tail light, E400E actually here. And then down here we have LED lights on the number plate. The camera will come out from there. Here we have some chrome. So you see they still keep the chrome, uh, some chrome down here. And you can see those are fake exhaust pipes because the exhaust pipes are under there. And then we have some air diffuser here, very nice design. And also it looks a little bit sportier, but in the same time, they still keep that a comfortable premium look. Other than that, on the roof, we have a glass roof, uh, tinted windows on the side, then glossy plastic around the edges of the windows. Here on this area, uh, if I'm not wrong, is the charging port or no? Here is the charging port, but it's locked right now, or it's not locked. Let me show you. Here's the charging port, AC, you can charge the car. And this is also pretty, uh, pretty useful on the driver's side because most of it you will use the one from the from the left side the handles typical for mercedes led lights around them also you can see the mercedes benz signature on all the handles down here on the down skirt we have also some uh, nice integration of glossy black plastic and then if we go to the rims we have amg rims ventilated brake discs actually the brake discs on the rear they are huge i don't know the size I didn't have time to check that, but they are really, really big. And then if we go in the front, the same story, ventilated brake discs. Here we have four pistons, but they are not only ventilated, they are also cross-drilled AMG, of course, and 19-inch wheels. They look nice, but I think, uh, if I remember well, Mercedes have also 
much nicer rims that they can add on this uh, car to make it look uh, better and to stand out a little bit. The mirrors also quite, quite uh, big, glossy plastic everywhere. We have piano black uh, blind spot technology in the corner. You have the camera here for 360 degrees camera, some LED that project on the ground, a light. And then here you have the uh, turning signals, glossy plastic also on the uh, leg of the mirror. Up there we have some cameras. So you can see two cameras and uh, sensors for uh, light and raining. And then the cameras are for reading the traffic speed limit and all that safety features. Now, this is the exterior design of the car. I try to go a little bit faster around the car because more and more people will come around. So it will be quite hard to, to show you all. Automatic lift gate here, as you can see in the trunk, and actually i like the fact that the trunk it has a much bigger entrance even if it's a sedan usually you have it until here if i'm not wrong i show you uh yesterday i review yesterday the new bmw 5 series and it was stopped somewhere around here the trunk but you see mercedes with this e-class they extend on the upper side so you should be able to fit in much bigger items and i like that this is a great idea so they bring a little bit of hatchback look in the back here. I like the fact that you have a flat floor, some plastic at the entrance, this is great. Some LED on the upper side, on the right side here you have some hooks. Then from here you have a button, electric, you can fold down the seats. And also from this side, this is great that they have these buttons. I see so many cars these days that didn't have those uh, buttons to be able to fold down uh, the seats there. And under the floor here, uh, from what I know, you cannot open it because it's a plug-in hybrid system. So uh, it has to fit in a lot of stuff. So under the floor, it's kind of locked here. That's something yeah. to keep in mind. On the upper side, you have a hook, also electric adjustable hook. So once you press it, you will see the hook will come out automatically. You don't have to touch it to get dirty on your hands and then you can put it back. Very simple, just like that. Here we have the buttons to close the trunk, but you can use also your uh, legs. So, I mean, when you hit it like that, it should work. I'm not sure where is the place. It says on the left side. So, I mean, it should be around here, the sensor. Uh, it's not always so easy. I'm not sure where it is. But anyway, it's somewhere around there. I have to see where is the sensor, but um, yeah, pretty nice. I like the design, I like the opening. It's quite, quite nice. I like the fact that we have all the windows on the doors. That means you have a bigger entrance. This is great. But here, if you want to fold down the, the windows, uh, you will see that they will go all the way down because they split it in two and one will stay fixed. Great quality uh, materials as always on the BMW. And also even on the down part here, we have soft material, soft material inside the uh, storage spaces. And then we have this chrome ambient light on the down part and also ambient light on the upper side and in this area. If now Tesla these days learn how to install LED lights for the first time, now Mercedes it's also on the level three. So they have three types of LEDs on the doors and you have leather, incredible good quality. Those are the buttons, the same incredible buttons that they feel the premium. I mean, when you touch something here in the car, it's really, really uh, premium. Burnmeister speakers and they have they still keep those beautiful chromatic color i mean i love this chrome i love this aluminum a metal look of the of the speakers entrance as i said before it's huge big entrance also it comes with those glass roof integrated in that price 118,000 euro and then we have of course those incredible seats that i also see them before on the on the Mercedes, they are super comfy and also they have a premium look and I like the fact that they extend the leather here in this area so you should have a better comfort. In the middle, armrest and those cup holders, let me show you, right here in the middle, just like that. Now, if I go inside, uh, the seat is much more in the back, so usually the seat should be more in the front. But overall, you have more than enough space on the on the legs. For me, 173 centimeters. If I close the door, also good quality on the doors. And then you can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat. You have also some ambient light down there. But overall, good good space. And in the front, the seats should be for me at least much more in the front. Here we have like five fingers over the head. 
uh, but the comfort is great, the visibility is great because they extend this window here uh, in the back, so really, really nice. Uh, the quality of the roof, I will give it an, from 1 to 10 an 8. Uh, also, we have a handle hook LED lights here for reading, and we have here on the B pillar some vents here, so quite nice. In the middle, you have this transmission tunnel that it's quite, quite big. Don't expect in the middle to have a flat floor. And then we have also the vents right here. And then we have the buttons uh, to control the climatic system on the back. And we have like four zone climatic system. So you can also adjust for both passengers in the back. Look one more time on the door, the way the LEDs look on on that beautiful interior. So it's, it's gorgeous. And also uh, the glass roof look just super, super nice. Now in the front, we will go there in a second, but you can see already that the car come with uh, a screen, a special screen also for the, for the passenger. So you can see there a lot of information that the driver can also um, change the settings. And I will show you that you can also watch YouTube in the car. Uh, it comes with a few options that are incredible. And yeah, the dashboard design in a, in a Mercedes these days, it's, it's crazy. I mean, that front part is just incredible. And every time you set, you put a music or something, you will see that the light will pulping and will change depending on what uh, sound you're playing. You know, if you have, for example, for example, if you watch YouTube and stuff like that, if you play it, then you will see that the lights will play inside. Anyway, uh, we will go in the front and then we will, I will show you, but you can see right now he's showing some information uh, about the car and also you can see the application it comes with spotify with a lot of uh, new apps that are super super uh, useful these days and they are really welcome in the car so here you can see also uh, the youtube you can watch videos and when you play a video you will see that how the light inside the car it's an it's a super setting anyway Let's go in the front there. So now, before we go inside, to, I want to talk a little bit about the door. And you can see already how the LED lights is changing the color. It's blending together. And every time you play a song inside the car, you will see that the lights are changing in different ways, incredible ways. So Mercedes, when it comes to interior and ambient light, it's, it's incredible. I have no words for that. And look at this, how they integrate it in the leather. I mean, you don't have any chrome or something like that. This is incredible hard to do, uh, to integrate this LED inside the leather. Leather, 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 soft material, LED here, LED down here. And also we have here integrated in the chrome, just, just phenomenal. Look at this. Right now they play, like play a music, a sound or something. And you can see how the, the music you can see how the LEDs are playing right there. All right, so you can see right now the, the way it looks. Now, if we go forward down here, you have also some buttons to open the trunk and also uh, one it's to open the, the tank door and then here the same soft very good material and we have a plate with Mercedes Benz right in here with uh, LED lights. We will go in the second inside but you can see already the way it works. They, he explained him uh, how the things are working right there but you can see in the same time how it's playing a video right there with the music but they they take the music a little bit lower so we can uh, talk a little bit and in the same time you can see how the music uh, and how the lights are playing on that song so this is it the steering wheel it looks also gorgeous is this new steering wheel from Mercedes, the sporty type, I should say. And it looks phenomenal. I mean, not only that it looks, but uh, the quality on it, it's, it's just gorgeous. Up there in the front, we have also a head-up display that I will show you later. Look at, look at the ambient light, how it's blending together in some parts of the dashboard. It's just crazy. The quality on the dash, leather stitches. We have the vents right here that, that looks unique and special again mercedes come always with they change always the vents i think it's kind of the only company that want to come with crazy new design on the vents so this is really interesting a lady here some piano black and then we have the light uh, controllers here and then you have this screen uh, digital cockpit 
with all that functions that you can customize them. The steering wheel, the same great, great quality. You can see the stitches, the grip is great, great quality. And also we have those touch sensitive uh, button to control different functions. For example, here you can control the autopilot and uh, all that cruise control function. From here you can control uh, the cockpit. And then from the other side, you can control the digital screen so you can control it. Even though if you don't have a wheel in the middle there, uh, you can control what happened on the screen from here, from this area. And down there you have the volume and voice command and telephone functions. So yeah, and also some elements of Chrome. Let me show you also the interior and the seats uh, from this angle. The seats are very similar with what we see on the rear there, beautiful seats and also very comfortable. You have side support, side support, and you can also adjust the seats in every position. You have massage on your seat, ventilated seats, heated seats, everything is here. Now, let me go inside. Here in the middle, leather everywhere, stuff material. So you barely find any plastic in the car. So that's a good thing, soft. If you open this, you have two USB-C ports, some storage space right here. In the back, you can check out one more time also the, the window in the back there. And then we have this woodish insertion in the middle with some LED light also here with Chrome. Open this up, you have two cup holders, wireless charging, USB, two USB ports down here, also very useful. And then you have also again these controllers from where you can change different driving modes. You have the camera, 360 degrees camera, but the car for the moment is, doesn't work. It has also some kind of uh, error from uh, yesterday and you, you cannot change. It's kind of a prototype and you cannot change what you can see on the cockpit. But keep in mind that on the cockpit, you can uh, also change it and customize it as you can, as you can do in other cars, right? And then you have the shortcut button where you can go directly to the settings of the car. And then here you have the volume and uh, yeah. Up here you have a camera, right? Let me show you, this is something new. And it's a camera that can film what happened inside the car. So it's a new feature that I saw also in BMW bring it also uh, to their cars. And also it's up here, but here Mercedes bring it right in the middle. I'm not sure what is the function of it for the moment, but I guess it's to film what happened inside the car. It's for the safety features and also for some, I'm not sure about that. It's actually today is for the first time when I, when I saw it. Here we have the stalk. So from here you can go and drive uh, reverse parking as usually in uh, Mercedes. And here we have the uh, button for the start stop engine. Look at this. This is the vent. Also, this here it sends the, the air. You can see right there you have more option to, to somehow split the air and you can see the fan is moving automatically. This is really interesting. How cool is that? But you, do, you know, do you know for what is the camera? It's filming inside, right? For a meeting, Zoom meeting, or ah, Zoom meeting. meeting, nice, right. I didn't think about it. This is great. And I think the quality, it's great, right? It's, you, it, you can it's see? Okay. It's, it's okay. Not, it's okay, huh? Look here, the camera, you can see. Ah, nice. So that's, that's great anyway. It's a great uh, chance to drive home and then to, to be also, um, yeah, on the camera. So you saw that. And you saw the, also the ventilation system that when you choose the direction, the ventilation will change as well. So all you have to do is just go here, you go to the head uh, and then you will go up just like that, upper body. Uh, and then if you choose uniform, it will go down, up uh, automatically. And this is super interesting. It's for the first time when we saw something like that in a car, uh, also leather here, incredible, incredible quality. And also the way they design and they integrate the screens right here. It's just uh, fabulous. Then we have the second row of seats, the same, you can adjust it from here, the air quality, uh, precondition, climatic. And here on the right side, you have that screen for the passenger where you can go in different apps, navigation, you can see the navigation right there. Also, we will talk a little bit about navigation. And also you have all the, almost all the functions that you have on the left side, you have it here. You can see also information about the hybrid, the charging, and the glow box, by the way. This is the glow box, relatively big. And you have an LED light there. 
And here on the multimedia, let me go and show you a few things. So you have the navigation that it's crazy responsive. You have a big screen, very nice integrated here. And you have a 3D map. And if you set a destination, for example, let's go here, right? And then you just go, it shows you the, the temperature there where you will arrive and just let's go and you will see how fast it's loading incredible fast so the hardware the processor behind uh, this screen it's incredible fast and also it will show you the, the camera in the front where you should go left and right uh, then if we go to the climatic menu already saw it here also in the middle you go to home and here from the home you see all the application and all the settings of the car and you will see that here it has some new application you can also play games you have zoom you have also uh, youtube i'll show you in a second if you go to youtube here you can also search and uh, see for different videos so if you go here to search you can see like sda um, SDA Dan cars so you will go here and you will find all the videos and you will see I was surprised to see how uh, responsive those things are and you can see one of my interview you can watch it next days and you can see how the the lights are playing right now when you were playing uh, the the sound it doesn't matter if you watch a video or you're hearing some music these uh, lights inside if you set it like that it will it will really play it will show you a nice playing inside you have an incredible incredible ambient here this is with uh, with youtube and i noticed that it's worked really fast depending also on the internet and on the area where you are located but it works really really good then if you go forward to the home you will see the apps here you have all the apps you can see we have energizer coach the camera inside sudoku you can also play games tindle uh, calendar you have so uh, another games here the amazon music uh, apple music spotify mercedes me and all other apps then we go on the comfort here and you can change different uh, settings for example the ambient light the brightness of the ambient light we have the effects here from here you can change those effects if you want a sound visualization that you saw before when you play a, a, a music or something you can activate and deactivate from here massage on your seats of course you can choose from here the seats lumbar position ambient light energizer and comfort warm you can also choose those things super interesting then we have like let me go uh, settings if you go to settings of course you have uh, the settings of the car like lightning from here you can choose the lightning the assistance systems so uh, collision avoidance assistant uh, camera parking vehicle information here of course dynamic selection you can set up this the lights the system the language you can change it from here and all that settings are quite similar with on the other version as well and here you have the application and the settings of the application and information about it but then you have the hybrid so you can see how much battery you still have there and it's acting like uh, the electric cars it gives you all the information you have the energy flow while you're driving it shows you what happened with the battery you can see the battery is located uh, under the boot that's why we don't have that space there so vehicle you go to the vehicle also information about the car and you have a nice graphic here and then you go to engine and here on the engine you have also the revs when you're driving and different information right here on the screen. So really, really interesting device. Of course, you can connect Android and Apple CarPlay. It has also a 360 degrees camera around the car. Uh, I'm not sure if it works right now because uh, the problem is that, ah, it's working. Look at this. This is the same 360 degrees camera as Mercedes use it also on other models. And from my point of view, it's one of the best. You can have a good view right now because the doors are open and also it's in a tight place here, but it's, it's super, super good. The cockpit as well, you can customize and change different widgets, but it's not working properly at the moment, but keep in mind that you can change them as well. But incredible features, the car come with, with some new, great, unique features. The camera in the back here, you can see also the visibility it's quite fine and it's also uh, those tiny edges look great the microphone up here some handle and then we have also this mirror and then up here again some ambient light in this area it looks similar with the previous versions and then from here you can also open the the roof glass roof and also you can uh, pull the curtain on so other than that the lights and 
yeah i guess this is the car guys i hope i cover almost everything on the car i want to go out so other people can uh, come inside as well my main point and my main information about the car as i said i think it's an incredible car and mercedes in the last year make phenomenal cars with great great quality i think the new features the unique features that the car bring like the ventilation automatically the cameras the youtube and all that application in the car they make the car even much better than it was before so i don't know how mercedes is able to implement so incredible features on the car so that was the video as a fast review i hope you enjoy it it's really complicated to do it here because there are a lot of people and i didn't have the exclusive access to the car but as soon as i will have i will do a proper review interior exterior i'll try to show you every single details of the car don't forget to like share subscribe of course and the only thing that i forget to show you the engine area but i don't think it's so important and probably the led lights so probably i will be able to turn them on i don't know i don't want to bother them but maybe sorry just the lights ah, thank you sorry okay now let's go in the back here is the LED lights on the down part. It's the only thing that I didn't show you until now. And let me go fast on the mirror. This is the LED and then also in the front. So they replace the, the upper part of the, of the daytime running light. Anyway, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.